coming to you live from inside Mike's truck. Dirty, watch, watch, dirty. Watch out for I, that I need to clean it. Expedition. No, no to, judging. Try to get us. Oh, I'm, I'm like specifically panning where you can't see how filthy and nasty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not even dirty. He's just saying that. Um. Anyway, what are we doing today? We are going to go take a tour of Arcade 92 and meet our friend Michael Lupsch, who is the owner. Turn left. Then turn left on Ruth's Fantastic. Snow Drive. Well, I'm excited. I've been wanting to go out to Arcade 92 for quite a while. Uh, Michael's a great guy, and uh, I can't wait to turn see what it looks like. Ruth's so, Snow we got a long way ahead of us. How many miles have we got for this 51 thing? 51 miles. All right, so. Long way. 50 minutes, 50 miles here. Let's see if you can do it, Mike. All right. Mm -hmm. Mile a minute. That's the goal. That's the goal. We are Come on the road still. As you can see, we're here. We're heading out to. Where are we heading? McKinney? Arcade 92. McKinney, Texas. McKinney. Arcade 92. We're going to get to know a little bit about Mike Murray. This is uh, not mine and Mike's first road trip, but it would be the first road trip <laughs> you guys have seen. Uh, Mike, uh, what? We're going to ask some arcade questions. Let's gonna, do it. These are softballs. We're Let's not trying to get you know, hard soft, hitting. This is some softballs. Hard hitting uh, 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 reporting here or anything. So first thing <laughs> is... Um, what is your favorite arcade machine? And if you can't pick a favorite, you can pick like top three or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, I definitely have to do like top three. You know, I have a lot of games that I really like to play, but there's like two or three games that are like my childhood favorites. And like, you know, those are the ones I'm going to want to have in my game room or in my own arcade or whatever. Like, like they're just special to me. And that's, uh, I'll just, I'll do the top two is Pac-Man and Galaga. You gotta okay. have those. All right. Gotta have those. Those are like, you just tug on my heartstrings my nostalgia heartstrings <laughs> so yeah i used to play galaga in a laundry mat when my mom would uh you know be washing clothes and i loved that was my favorite game as a kid for a little while for sure you know a few, yeah. few years it was my favorite too uh now you said pac-man is there a specific pac-man that you like or the just original. all of the, the original, original. Pac -Man. although you know pac-man and miss pac-man for me are so similar right that you know they're almost interchangeable but but pac-man was the one that i Intended, yeah. I got you. Now, where did you go and play arcades when you were growing up? Ah, what a great question. So, my mom, uh, she worked at a Walmart in Burleson, Texas when I was a kid. And that Walmart's been bulldozed down. And there's like, I think there might have been two Walmarts built since that. Since right. Then. But in that Walmart, there were a, uh, a Pac-Man and a Galaga side by side at the end of the checkout. And right next to it was this thing called a... Uh, something chicken i forget exactly what it is oh yeah um, so i want one of those too that's <laughs> my like list a, uh, chicken machine yeah it's a chicken machine it would bark 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 and then you know lay an egg and it would be a prize at the end oh it's fantastic but, uh, but... all right mike we're almost to arcade 92 what are you almost there what are what? you hoping to see oh man you know there's so many cool things i i i, I, I cheated and i watched the online tour come on mike you <laughs> cheater i did there's so many you good game things. You gamed the freaking uh, trip. I did. There's oh. so many good things, I think, that are going to be at uh, at Mike's, Michael's place. So, uh, uh, But I, I, I really like the fact he has a mix of modern and retro, and I really yeah. want to see how he's done that. Okay. Yeah. I want to see his pinball lineup. Uh, I know that he... Spent a fortune. <laughs> fortune. Fortune on stern pinball machines. So, uh, yeah, it should be coming up here pretty soon to seeing what he did this should be interesting to say the least i've been wanting to come out here for a long time um it's just so far and uh, now that i got mike with me this makes it so much easier so does he have any games for us to buy i was gonna ask him that i haven't, uh, <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity oh that would be great uh, now he had a sinistar one time i tried to make a deal with him See, he was wanting a Sunset Riders, and I showed him pictures of my Sunset Riders. I was going to actually let him trade it, but I think he wanted a little bit more of a dedicated one. And ours is uh, it's kind of dedicated. I don't know if I would call it dedicated, but it definitely looks pretty dedicated. It's just like a smaller one. It almost is like a cabaret a Sunset cabaret Riders, Sunset if Riders. you will. <laughs> a four-player cabaret cabinet of Sunset Riders. So, anyway... I have to tell you, this is a complete, you can cut this if you want to. Oh, no, no, I want to catch it. <laughs> the very first time I saw a uh, Cabaret Gorf 
I was like, what the hell have they done to this beautiful machine? <laughs> what, have, what have you done to my boy? You massacred my boy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I think the Gabri Gorf is all right. Did you? There was one at Cider Cane Four. I saw it. Yeah, um, <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. Mm. So this is uh, RK ninety two is in this area here. This is McKinney. Zero point three it's miles. Zero point three on the left. So we should be coming up to it here pretty quick. Now he's not open yet. Is that right? He doesn't open until three. We're a little early. Turn left okay. on East Virginia Street. So we'll get the drive up though. I want to see the the fascia, the front fascia of the building and whatnot. See, but what if he was in that cool hangar over oh, there? Oh, yeah. That's what we need, Mike, the arcade hangar. You could just call it the hangar. Actually, I think that's already an arcade name. Sorry, Mike, you can't call it that. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to well, tell, but that, that actually looks like a restaurant or something. Uh, it says Collin County Feet and Seed. I guess it's not. <laughs> it is a restaurant for cows. For cows. <laughs> 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 They don't serve cows. They mm -hmm. serve cows. They serve cows, exactly. Nice, nice. Oh, downtown McKinney. You know, uh, somebody was born in McKinney. Somebody famous. It was me, Mike. I was born in McKinney. <laughs> I've been back three times. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> the hometown of McKinney. Now, I, I don't know what I don't know when my mom was here. Um, and I don't know why I was born in McKinney. She wasn't living here. I don't know if she's just passing through. Oh, no. I have no idea why I was born here, but that's uh, that's the only reason I even knew McKinney was a place growing up because it's far enough away that I wouldn't. Okay, so I see you right there next to that comedy Turn arena. Left on East Virginia that's it Street. right there. You see it? Look at that. That's cool. I like his signs out front. Oh, yeah. That is super neat. It's a really pretty building all over. Yeah, nice, it really nice is. Brick. Is that? It's like part of the cultural district. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. I love this. Yeah. And, and does he have a comedy show or a comedy stop right next to him? Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's cool. oh, they have, they have classes. You can learn how to be funny and not be like me, unfunny. Three hour parking. We're, we're, we got it right Three here. Three hour parking. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, this is a really nice place. What if you could live right above it would be perfect. How cool is that? He's got Frogger and Miss Pac-Man on the door over there. I think he has some... a joust uh, machine in the window. I think he has some cocktails out on the patio, too. What? <laughs> over here. Oh, that's so cool. <clears throat> He's got patio. is nice. Let's go check this place out. I'm going to get this... Uh, all the stuff in the front of the building. Well, yeah, there's a nice patio area out here. Got Miss Pac-Man and Frogger. Uh, oh, I think you gotta go, actually entrance is around there. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of the side here. Yeah. Dig Dug and Donkey Kong. Got good food and drinks. Oh, I got Scorpion and uh, Ryu over here. They're working on a pinball machine in there. That's pretty cool. Now hiring. Now always hiring, right? Always looking for someone better than what you got. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is super cool. Alright, he's probably gonna have to let us in since they're not open yet. But that's the entrance. Told ya. Okay. Electric Starship is here at Arcade 92. We've been chatting up Michael. I want to go around and look at some of the games he has because he has some amazing stuff. This place is awesome. First of all, check out this great bar. And they have a full bar here, which is pretty awesome. Love that. And I just love the decor and uh, just a great building all in all. Over here we got a nice lineup, Asteroids, Donkey Kong. We got a Spy Hunter, which is fantastic. Our Spy Hunter, we actually bought it auction from Michael. Uh, we have a uh, Galaxy Spackman, a Tron. You gotta have Tron, that is awesome. Look like here is old uh, Mike Murray playing old Robotron. We got Qbert, Outrun. Man, we gotta get our Outrun on the floor. Love Outrun. Missile Command, Operation Thunderbolt, Mario Brothers, 
Man, I have been wanting one of those for a long time. Pole position, Super Mario Brothers, Arkanoid, Joust. Over here we have Ninja Turtles, Gauntlet, Gorf, Punch Out, Moon Patrol, Galaga, Donkey Kong 3, and Millipede. And just, you know, just gotta love. It just feels like a classic arcade. And I like how, a lot like we have at the Starship, he has a lot of the 80s games all in a, uh, all in a cluster together. And he has some of the 90s, 90s games in a cluster together. Over here we got Sinistar. And man, this one is just beautiful side art. What a great end cap game. Zaxxon, Frogger, Defender, Gyrus, another one I'm super jealous of. Galen, this is for you, buddy. There's another Gyrus out here, but you gotta go all the way to McKinney to play it. I know you got one in your house. Miss Pac-Man, also got this great patio area out here. Centipede, Donkey Kong Jr., Track and Field, Pac-Man, Dragon's Lair, how fantastic is that? Dig Dug, let's go around here. And over here by the bar, we got some really nice games, just like around our bar. We got Paperboy, Tapper. Now let's go down here to this lower section here. And we got a couple of new games that just hit the floor. Michael's looking at one of them now. Mortal Kombat, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. You can tell this is more of the 90s fighting game area here. Uh, Captain America and the Avengers. Oh, they have the board set for that, but I love that. He's got it in a potato cabinet here. That's fantastic. Tekken 3. We just got rid of our Tekken 3. We got a Tekken 4, 4 on the floor. We got Viper, got a shmup there, and Killer Instinct 2. Now, this one you don't see very often. I don't even know anyone else that's running a Killer Instinct 2 right now. That's a fantastic game. Uh, over here, a sweet three-banger, Revolution X. How cool is that? All right, here so we got Super Off-Road, Card Evil, Site 4, Lethal, Forcers, Terminator 2 with a cool topper, Star Wars Trilogy, Aliens Extermination, Blitz, gotta have a Blitz, The Simpsons, NBA Jam, X-Men, Sunset Riders, some awesome decor up here. I love that. Here, they have a great way of putting the minis, and I love the skinnier tables. Totally need to do this idea. We need to skinny down some tables, make a little more space in the Starship. Uh, Arch Rivals, Street Fighter Alpha, Final Fight, and Dr. Mario. And then you drop down, you got a, some seating over here. Here in Arcade 92. And let's go down and check out. They have an eSports gaming area, which is amazing. Look at that, there's 13 screens, switches and Xboxes and all that. I got a custom Tetris, Guitar Hero, and then nothing but straight stern pinballs for as far as the eye can see. Jurassic Park, Turtles, Rush, Godzilla. He's trading out that Stranger Things, that's why it's off right now. Avengers, Mandalorian, Deadpool, Star Wars, Monsters, Hot Wheels, got a Killer Queen, a Cosmotrons, a couple of Vulixes over here, and bump it up. So, just fantastic stuff, guys. If you're in McKinney, Texas, come out and check out Arcade 92. It is so awesome. Well, they're getting ready. I'm not sure if they just opened or they're getting ready to open. So, I'm gonna play some games. What are you doing with your hands, Michael? <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with his hands. All right, so, how long has this place been around, Michael? <laughs> Three years as of tomorrow. Three years, so we're here on the birthday almost, which is fantastic. It's birthday Eve. Uh, birthday Eve, and uh, say your first and last name. I don't know how to say your last name correctly. It's Michael Lech. All right, and do you love this place or what? You Absolutely. love what you do. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. so he loves his job, folks. So anyone wants to open an arcade, this is your chance right here. You know, we're, you're talking, I love my job, he loves his job, and he wants to love his job. So that's perfect, all right. 
Now, Michael, I was going to ask you, what is your favorite arcade game? So I'm going to give you two. Or favorite video game, yeah, for that yeah. matter. Yeah, so I, I got you. So my, there's two. So Super Mario Brothers is like my like nostalgic experience, like emotional tied game, right? Absolutely. Because uh, that's like the first video game I ever played in Tulsa, Oklahoma, like 1987 in a gas station. Fantastic, right? okay. Uh, but like my most like go-to is going to be like Mortal Kombat 3. All um, right, so all right. So that has a bit of a tie, too. I've played that at Tilt in Louisville Mall back Fantastic. in the, you know, 92, which is where our name comes from, uh, from 1992 for the couple years they had that, and that was always my, my go-to, go-to game, so. Man, yeah. I absolutely love it. I love it. Now, was this a dream of yours, or how'd this come about? Um, this was one of those things where I had a personal collection, like in my, you know, we had the game room, then we operated the great game room, uh, and then went to the garage. And we started out growing a garage. Um, so there was just a point where I was realizing it was a good adult therapy for me. Mm -hmm. So a lot of guys, they buy like a red sports car or midlife crisis. I bought a bunch of retro arcade machines, right? And you so, built this fantastic Yeah, place. so I realized one day, like, this is bigger than me. So we bought a this, uh, venue here in historic downtown McKinney. So I brought all my games. And, of course, we had to get a lot more. Um, so tracked all those down as well. I love it. That's absolutely. Yeah. Do you have anything to promote, like websites or uh, YouTube yeah, yeah. channels or Facebook? Yeah, or? so we have a uh, YouTube channel. It's our Arcade Ninety Two McKinney. Uh, all of our social media, so the uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook. We actually just started TikTok, which I reluctantly uh, are joining. Man, me too. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I don't uh, know so how to work TikTok. All, yeah, that's going to be uh, Arcade Ninety Two McKinney as well, and then um, a website is Arcade Ninety Two dot com. So that's all of our socials at least. So tomorrow we're having a birthday party here as well. So we're excited about excited about that. It's falling on a what a Tuesday, so yeah. we're not gonna be too busy because it's a Tuesday. Sure. But uh, we, well, again, this video may be done after Tuesday. So yeah, exactly. You're so, this uh, later, this, so this yeah. has already happened, yes, folks. Already Sorry, happened. you missed the birthday. Already so. come and gone. So, Happy yeah. birthday! Yeah. Happy belated for sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Buck, for letting yeah. us come and check out your place. We absolutely love it. And uh, if you guys are in downtown McKinney, please come to Arcade 92. It is fantastic. So, thank you so much, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Mike? Are you gonna? I love it. All right, he loves it. it. All right, dude. All thumbs up here. Three uh, mics approved. Yeah, three mics three approved. Mics oh my God, God, the trilogy of mics. I love it. All right, guys. Rolling. Hey. What you What's think? going on, Mike Woods? What would you think of Arcade 92? Notice I'm wearing the shirt. Okay, I forgot my shirt. I feel left out now. I know. I wore this yesterday, but you made me uh, made me wait a day. Made so, you wait a day, I know. Anyway. Well, I absolutely loved Arcade 92. It's one of the favorite. In fact, I'm going to go as far as to say it's probably in the top two or three of all the ones I've been to in the oh, last exactly. three months, let's okay. say, right? I all mean, right. really, go. really well oh, done. He, uh, Michael, obviously, like like his original investment and, and the places he picked to put that money, spot on. I mean, everything's like very well curated. Everything's very well laid out. Mm. The attention to detail is amazing. I just love the place. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I loved it as well. I really like the game selection. Uh, and I love that a lot of arcades, you'll see a lot of things kind of all mixed together. And like here, I try to have some separation in different areas, and he did the same thing. So when you come in, it feels very much like an 80s, and then there's like a little step down, as you saw in this video. You get in there, and now you're more in that 90s style. And just a little step down, you're in the pinball and into the esports area, which I love that too. Uh, not Almost no arcades have such a dedicated space to esports so i thought that was really really cool and modern gaming as well and from what i hear i, I mean that's something i even want to in implement you know, I, yeah in here. yeah, yeah it's it's uh it really got me thinking and the way again you know what we're talking about that attention to detail all the chairs are very nice it's oh, not yeah. like he didn't just pick some stools or something yeah, very yeah, nice yeah. cushy chairs yeah. that you can play for hours on yeah, end totally, like, yeah. no it. one's gonna want to leave us no yeah, that's great <laughs> no anyway overall i loved it any closing thoughts uh go check it out i mean i think uh, you will not be disappointed yeah. and happy birthday arcade 92 and uh you know this they just turned three years old you know they were born on the front side of the pandemic which is a really hard side to be born on because they went immediately <laughs> into not being able to pay bills right there right there yeah to us being born on the back side of the pandemic which i feel like is the luckier side so uh but fantastic yep 
So anyway, if you like this kind of content, remember to like and subscribe and uh, go visit. If you're in McKinney, Texas, go visit Arcade 92. You won't be disappointed. It is awesome. So Maybe we'll see you there. All right. Until next time.